Northern blotting, which was developed by Alvine in 1977, is a technique used in molecular biology to study gene expression by detection of RNA in a sample. The major steps involved are extraction of RNA from the given sample, running them on an agarose gel, transferring them onto nitrocellulose membrane, hybridization with a probe, and deduction. RNA isolation from Ragi Co-12 variety. Materials required for the extraction are liquid nitrogen, sterilized pipette tips, pestle and motor, and pipette man, 70% ethanol, triazole solution, chloroform, isopropanol, ethanol, and gloves. Wipe the table with 70% ethanol. The sample was ground using liquid nitrogen. The ground sample was transferred into Ependorf tubes for proceeding further. 1 ml of trisol solution was added to the ground sample. The sample was vortexed. The tubes were centrifuged at 12,000 rpm for 10 minutes. The temperature was maintained at 4 degrees Celsius. After centrifugation, the supernatant was transferred into a fresh Ependorf tube. At most care should be taken not to contaminate the supernatant with the pellet while transferring it. Next. 0.2 ml of chloroform was added to the supernatant. The tubes were inverted and incubated at room temperature for 5 minutes. The tubes were centrifuged at 12,000 rpm for 15 minutes at 4 degrees Celsius. The aqueous layer was transferred into a new Ependorf tube. It contains RNA. 0.5 ice cold isopropanol was added to the aqueous layer. It was then centrifuged at 10,000 rpm for 10 minutes. As the result of centrifugation, a small pellet was formed. After centrifugation, discard the supernatant. 70% ethanol was added to the pellet. The tube was vortexed and then centrifuged. The supernatant was discarded and the pellet was dried using a blotting paper. The pellet was dissolved in nucleus free water and stored at minus 80 degrees Celsius for further use. Blotting procedure requires a trough, transfer buffer, Wattman filter paper, blotting paper, filter papers, glass plate and a weight. Place the base with Wattman filter paper in the trough. Next, pour in the transfer buffer in such a way that the Wattman filter paper is wet with the transfer buffer. Take two filter papers, cut to the size of the gel, Wet them with the transfer buffer and place them on the base.
Remove any air bubbles that are caught between the layers. Carefully place the gel containing the RNA sample followed by the nitrocellulose membrane. Take two Wattman filter papers, cut to the needed size, wet them with the transfer buffer and place them over the nitrocellulose membrane. Place stack of filter papers. Then place a glass plate. Keep a weight over it so that the RNA from the given gel will start binding to the nitrocellulose membrane. RNA was isolated from Ragi Co-12 salinity susceptible variety which was exposed to salt stress. Complementary strand of rice DREB2 gene was used as heterologous probe. The probe gets hybridized to the complementary RNA region. X-ray film can detect both the radioactive and chemiluminescent signals. From the result, it is evident that the expression of DREP2 protein, that is, dehydration responsive element binding protein, was found to be considerably high in the plant plot that was grown under salt stress.